today I'm going to be sharing what I'm sending to ThreadUp. I did a video a couple weeks ago showing you what I was sending to ThreadUp and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So I am getting rid of all of my maternity, uh, so I'm going to be sending all that in today. And some other random things like shoes, some Christmas sweaters. So I'm just going to show you what I'm sending. Um, I use ThreadUp as like last resort. All this stuff has basically been listed for about two years. So if you like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments and I'll keep making them. I send stuff to ThreadUp every single month. So here we go. Um, I am just going to tell you right now, my average payout is like 30, 40 cents for ThreadUp. I like to use my credits at ThreadUp to buy rescue boxes most of the time. So yeah, that's my reason for sending this in. This is a maternity shirt it says best gift ever um these are some vintage shoes i got years back and they never sold they're like clear like kitten heels uh sheila lawrence is who makes these so we'll see if they take those i got my shoes all mixed up in here okay i don't know where the other pair is uh these are a pair of steve madden's i got these i want to say in a thread up box they never sold. I got these in a thread up box. I do not like the thread up shoe boxes. Yeah, have not done very well with them. Well, one box was good. The other one was terrible. But anyway, yeah, trying to get out of the shoe game. So trying to send the rest of my shoes to thread up. Uh, this is a Miss Dorby little blazer. I got this whenever my Goodwill did 50 cent day. Now they do dollar day, which is just as good i'll have my dollar day haul out tomorrow but yeah this is just like an oatmeal sweater um here's a christmas sweater i've had this for quite some time never sold out i went uh two seasons without this stuff selling so uh my boxes are taking a while to process i'm uploading this in case you're watching this in the future i'm uploading this video in january 2022 I'm not expecting my box to be processed to at least April or May. Um, so yeah, this stuff will, I will be waiting for a payout for a while. Time and true, just a blue. This was actually my shirt. It's really basic. Um, I thought this would sell. This is, I want to say, yeah, this is loft. And it has like these, it's like a denim chambray top, but it has these little hearts on it. Again, I've had, it's a button up. Again, I've had this stuff for literally two years and I just can't sell it. And I need more room in my inventory room. I need to make a whole video about my, my inventory saga, I guess is what we can call it. I'm actually thinking about enclosing my carport outside and making that my inventory room because I've, I've really upped my inventory lately. And I need more room. I have about a thousand items and I'm in two bedrooms already in my house. And like, yeah, it's, it's getting rough y'all. Anyway, this is Pendleton, uh, just a striped top, had no attention on that. Here's another, th this, I feel like I may get a good payout. Uh, it's Antonio Milani, just a pair of heels. Um, I did horrible with them. Let me know. I leave this, I know people are going to judge me. I leave the Sharpie on most of my shoes that are worth like under $20. Should I take that off before I send it to thread up? I thought these would do good. Um, I mean, they are worn. They're Neiman Marcus made in Italy and they're calf hair sandals. This is calf hair and it has like this ankle strap that wraps around your ankle. Um, it is missing some parts of the calf hair like right here. So I'm not sure if they'll take that. I've definitely seen them take worse things. Oh, I got this. This was in my first ever Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. I did that, what, back in 2019? And I thought this would do great, but it, it just did not get any attention. It's a brand new Nordstrom red cardigan. Retail said it was 40 bucks. Just an open front cardigan. Again, I've had this stuff for so long. I just need to really get rid of it and make room for new inventory. Here's the other Steve Madden shoe. I don't know where I got this. I want to say my friends must have donated this to me because I don't remember where I purchased this. It's a kimono and it's by Chance of Destiny. 
or chance and destiny it's really rubbed off anyway it's just a red sheer kimono after this we're gonna get to the maternity I used to sell a lot of maternity in my two for $25 sale whenever I used to get maternity for 50 cents I used to bundle it and sell it like crazy uh, but ever since uh, they stopped doing the 50 cents day I haven't really been picking it up uh, I got this in a mystery box but I just have no interest in selling it it's just like a cheer or a sheer polka dot print um, okay, I think we're getting into the maternity now. Um, this is Isabel Maternity. This is a Target brand. It's an off-the-shoulder dress, so I think it'll be great for springtime. It's embroidered. Yeah, just a long dress. Um, okay, this is not maternity. This is Chaps, and I think someone gave... No, I got this in a mystery box. I have no interest in listing Chaps. Maybe Thread Up will sell it. We'll see. Um, Liz Lang, Maternity. These are all brands that sell really well. I did try to look up maternity, like online maternity consignment shops, and I only found one, and they're not in business any longer. I don't know. I feel like that's needed, a maternity online consignment. Or maybe it's not. Maybe that's why it didn't work. Anyway, it's just a uh, tie-back shirt. My friend, I have two of these. They're brand new with tags. My friend Caitlin gave me this. This is Liz Lang. This is not the Target line. This is the actual Liz Lang. Super, super cute maternity top. Has these bell sleeves. I just got no attention. I think I just didn't have enough maternity listed for people to bundle like they used to. This is the exact same top in blue, and again, it's new with tags, uh, if I can find the tag. I would be kind of shocked if they didn't take that. Um, let's see. They usually take at least 50% of my boxes whenever I send them. This is a great top. It's a motherhood nursing tank top. Nursing stuff usually sold really well for me. Um, I don't know if ThreadUp is interested in just tank tops, but we'll find out. Um, these are a pair of linen maternity pants. This is by Hammer. And honestly, these would make great buffet pants. Stretchy, stretchy, right? Linen does really well for me. But again, I've had this stuff for years, so it's time to let it go. This is Anthropology Maternity. I will show you this. I got this at the bins years ago. Uh, but anyway, yeah, a pair of green linen maternity pants. No one wanted those. Isn't that crazy? Uh, here's a dress. Uh, this is by Liz Lang. A lot of this stuff. In my area, we don't really have, like, a lot of maternity stores I feel like so I don't have anything like I live in Mississippi y'all I mostly find like Target brand maternity stuff uh, this is a blouse and it has a tie in the back I'll have to tie that before I send it uh, these are a pair of Cherokee um, maternity scrub pants which I used to have the best luck with I used to bundle this stuff like crazy yeah just a pair of blue scrub pants um, this is Three Seasons. I'm not sure where this was sold. It's like a watercolor maternity top. And let me know if you guys want like an update. Again, it's going to be a while, I think, before they even accept this stuff. Uh, motherhood Maternity, another common one. This is just a pink blouse cute little sleeves and it also has the tie in the back I guess a lot of maternity has that tie in the back this I'm not sure if they're gonna accept because it's like a sweater um, it's motherhood maternity polka dot wouldn't you think that this stuff would sell after two years it just did it for me y'all I'm not sure why uh, motherhood maternity extra large but this will be good for uh, summertime whenever they finally get to my box okay man that's a big pile I just folded everything this is how I send everything I just get a box this is actually a thread up box and I just fold up everything um to the rim 
up to 30 pounds, which I've never even been able to hit 30 pounds because I usually send them in these boxes. Um, and I usually, I don't know, I feel like I try to send everything in a nice condition, like fold it up really nicely and not just throw it in there. So, okay, wallflower, I want to say this is like Kohl's or Dillard's or something. Uh, these are a pair of shorts. They have the little embroidered back pockets. Um, let's see here. I really needed my maternity bin out of my inventory room because I have so many long sleeve items that need to go. I needed another bin for them. So that is what I am using for that. I took everything out that maternity bin and I put my long sleeve stuff in it. Liz Lang, uh, just a pair of, I guess like straight leg jeans. Uh, these are a pair. I got some nice brands in here. Uh, this is uh, Citizens of Humanity. And it says it right here. I, I think it's way on the inside. But anyway, there's the Citizens of Humanity logo. The back. Just a pair of jeans. Um, let's see. These are seven for all mankind. I feel like a lot of this is all stuff. Well, some of the stuff in the beginning, like the Christmas sweater and the Miss Dorby, maybe not. But these maternity brands, which is like the majority of the box... These are all brands I see ThreadUp sells. This is my first time ever sending in maternity to ThreadUp. Um, yeah, seven for all mankind. Jeans. These, I guess, have maybe, I don't know, do they have a boot cut? And this is how they're supposed to look. They have like this line on them. I found the stock photo and that's how the stock photo looked as well. This has a short panel, uh, Motherhood Maternity. Some women like this short panel more than like the bigger panels. Yeah, just a pair. I mean, the, all these jeans look very similar. They're like falling on me, y'all. New Recruit. New Recruit. Um, yeah, again, these are like more of a skinny. All right, we're getting down to the very end here. Uh, these, I have no idea where this is from. Two Hearts Maternity. Uh, but they have the short panel, and they're like a pair of Bermuda shorts, so really modest. And I really thought about keeping these, I'm not going to lie, um, because they are so comfortable. I'm not pregnant. I have no plans on becoming pregnant anytime soon. But these are comfy. I may or may not send these. We'll see. These are just a pair of linen shorts, but this band... You could eat some crab legs at the buffet with that band. All right, so that's what I'm sending. I think my next what I'm sending to thread up video, I'll probably film in two to three weeks. I am going to empty out my kids bin and I may start to send in some jeans, shorts, skirts, things like that. I am overrun with pants right now. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, my last video, you guys said you really enjoy seeing what other people send to ThreadUp. Um, again, I'm not using ThreadUp as really a source of income. I kind of use it as like a donation center. And then I usually can make at least 20, 30 bucks um, on a box normally. Normally I send in one item that surprises me and I get like a five, six dollar payout, something like that. And then I use like that 20 bucks to buy a fun box or to buy, I've been buying those women's mixed clothing boxes, which I don't know why I keep buying those, but I'm sure I'll buy another one in the future. I am, after seeing you guys' men's designer four-piece mystery box for $140, kind of thinking, after seeing the unboxings, kind of thinking about buying one for myself. So that may be my next Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing if I can get my hands on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, I always forget to introduce myself, but if you're new here, my name is Alicia Murray. I do try to put out regular reselling content on this channel. I try every day if I can, and I would love to have you. Um, I post these kind of videos. I do a lot of unboxings. 
a ton of hauls I would love to have you so just hit that red subscribe button down below if you would like to follow along with my reselling journey and I will see you guys all tomorrow for a new fun video it's actually going to be tomorrow's going to be my goodwill dollar day haul goodwill brought back dollar day y'all and it's a good one I'll see you then bye